Okay, and we go to some Hearthstone Division 4 action. We have Xander from Wilcox Hil Hildreth versus Battlecat from East Butler. Battlecat from East Butler playing his his uh, Warrior Quest Pirate deck. And Xander looks like Xander's playing more of an elemental based base deck with the spawn pool forager with with the death rattle it summons a, a little one one so a little extra value you get out of that card battle cat gonna go ahead and play the fiery war axe a very good warrior only standard card so here we go Oh, very nice. If you played an elemental the turn before, it deals three damage. So very nice. Gets a free three damage there. Goes ahead and brings out the novice zapper. Not a bad card with spell damage and an overload of one. So you can see the overload on this side of the deck. That means next turn, this mana crystal is locked. It's a way to get cheaper stuff out. Um, and then you pay extra next turn. Kind of like a bank loan. First part of the quest deck is done. He will go ahead and draw. He will go ahead and draw a weapon. Drawing that. And considering... He will go ahead and get rid of the novice zapper. And that is the end of that weapon. So... Xander with one of his crystals locked. Okay, we'll go ahead and just totem and run face. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Oh, that brings out the Defias Cannoneer. The spiked wheel has three attack while you have armor. Well, now you got some armor. So he will go ahead and hit face, which will then activate the Defias Cannoneer, dealing two damage randomly. And so, bring out the Adrenali totem, totem Carver. It does get a bonus for each friendly totem. There are no totems. However, it's not a bad card on its own by itself anyway. A 4-5 for 4 mana. Well, playing another pirate. That's 2 out of 2. He will go ahead and deal 2 damage to a random enemy twice. There's 1. And 2. All of these are a roll of the dice. Oh, drawing more pirates with the harbor scamps and the athletic studies going going fishing gonna go ahead and see pulls that card and considering we'll go ahead and attack which will activate this guy both this time both of them both of them hit it, killing it for free and dealing damage to face. Not quite threatening lethal, but Battlecat definitely with a strong board. He will go ahead and fire fireball, or the fire elemental gets a battle cry, getting getting rid of the, the Defy's Cannoneer. And so much free damage. Ooh, playing playing the tent trasher. And one more pirate completing this pirate, buffing all the other pirates, having plus one, plus one. Now Battle Can be threatening lethal. He does have Captain Rakara. Whenever this minion takes damage, it gains plus two attack with the Bone Chewer Vanguard, a 410. So quite a quite a big wall to get through. Battle Cat has, has, has to get through. All right, Battle Cat bringing out the Captain Rokara and the Juggernaut. So that won't activate till the start of Battle Cat's turn. And we'll go ahead and bring out the Stormwind Freebooter, giving giving his hero plus two attack. Just for this turn, though. He will go ahead and hit it. 
which will activate. It took damage, activates, takes damage, activates, takes damage, and it's finally out of the way. So, Battle Cat threatening lethal. The Death's Head Cultist bringing out a 2 4 taunt and the Doom Hammer. We'll go ahead and hit face two times. And here's the Juggernaut activating, dealing two damage to Xander's Ace, and that is game one. Battle Cat over Xander in game one. Here we are in game number two. Battle Cat retiring his quest warrior deck. And Xander also choosing to, just one moment, choosing a new deck. Xander choosing Demon Hunter. Okay, Demon Warrior being a new class that they've added to Hearthstone lately. Battle Cat going to throw out the coin and then the Far Potch Post, which cannot attack. After your opponent draws a card, it costs one more. So this, instead of costing four, or three, as it normally would, actually costs four because of the Far Post, far post Watch. Xander going ahead and playing a Kavaris Bloodthorn with Charge and Lifesteal. But it was not enough to destroy the three. Far watch post and Battle Cat being a little bit cheeky and going ahead and healing it. Back up to three. So now this, instead of is costing one extra, brings out the three cost. I believe Xander really wants to get rid of that, and I don't blame him either. Having stuff cost one more delays your cards by one turn, which can be um, devastating. Here's the third card. This now costs one more than it normally should have, and the Earth and Ring Farsinger finally getting rid of the Watchtower. Playing the Watchtower, choose a friendly beast, and shuffle three copies into your deck. But this card here is not a B, so it doesn't necessarily synergize too well. Battle Cat going ahead and entering Shadow Form. So instead of healing, his hero power now deals two damage and getting red and clearing the board. And with the Shadowed Spirit, when it dies, it deals three damage to the enemy hero. And considering his options, bringing out the Bring out the War Blade, which I have 2 2 in Life Steal. He'll go ahead and hit face, and then he will gain 3 because of the Life Steal. You heal for damage dealt, is what Life Steal does. He's going to go ahead and raise dead, dealing 3 damage, playing Flash Heal to restore 5 health, and bring out another Far Watch Post. I'm sure Xander is thrilled to see that. And he has corrupted the inside. Plays a corrupted inside. And which made the Twilight Deceptor free. So another free 2-3 card. Unknown. Uh, then they're gonna go ahead and play the Chaos Nova and get rid of that whole that whole mess right there. I don't know what this means. So, I do not blame him one bit. Going to go ahead and insight, draw a minion, and reduce its cost by two. Oh, joy. 
still has four mana left, so lots of different options. Going and playing the Shadowed Spirit, a standard priest card. 4-3, dealing extra damage. And of course, this card costs one extra. Okay, Xander passes the turn with four extra mana left. Not quite sure what is happening here. Um, don't know if it's my spectator mode. Quite sure what is happening. Let me double check. I just sent someone to check to see if it is my spectator mode because I'm not seeing anything that's happened and stuff should still be going on okay i'm gonna go ahead and leave spectator mode and i'm gonna go ahead and go back in so we will try this going back to battle cat Xander. i just sent someone to check it seems like it locked up on my end so, here we go. Oh, wow. They are still going. That's excellent. Battle Cat with 20 health. Xander with 9. Looks like Battle Cat has his choice of each of these cards. He does have out the Bone Chewer Vanguard, which is a 410 taunt. Whenever it takes damage, it gains it gains attack. And according to this, he's still choosing. Okay, well. We love the internet at Concordia University. Here we go. All right. I don't know why this is still showing, but whichever. Oh my lordy, with the Devouring Plague along with the Shadow Cloth Needle, and then four damage right there along with the four damage there. That is the end, and Battle Cat wins 2-0 over Xander. Congratulations to both players.